In our oceans lie the biggest mysteries of our world. It's one of the reasons why divers are fascinated with the bottom of the ocean. And it's due to their relentless submerging in the darkest depths of our seas that we've made some of the most bizarre discoveries. These span from shipwrecks that were deemed forever gone to entire submerged cities that we didn't even know about. Stay close to explore with us the 10 most exciting discoveries made by deep sea divers. Shipwreck of San Jose For centuries, nobody knew anything about the San Jose Galleon, thought to be lost in the sea after it lost a battle in Cartagena, Colombia. It took modern deep sea diving to uncover one of the most famous shipwrecks in history. On November 2015, the ship was discovered with assistance from a robotic submarine called the Remus 6000 under the command of the US Woodhull Oceanographic Institute. The vehicle descended to an astonishing 6 kilometers deep, enough to discover the San Jose and take multiple photos of the galleon. Scientists managed to distinguish the ship by its special cannons bearing dolphin engagements. But just why was the San Jose so popular to begin with? The Spanish galleon had disappeared into the Caribbean Sea after a battle with the British in 1708, taking with it 600 people and up to $20 billion worth of coins and jewels. The fascination with the shipwreck may have been intensified by the Nobel Prize winner and Colombian author Gabriel Garcia Marquez. He wrote about it in one of his famous books, Love in the Time of Cholera, stirring the imagination of millions of fans everywhere. Thonis Heracleion the question whether Atlantis, the mythical island lost under the seas, existed or not, may never find an answer. But the existence of entire cities that we found no trace of on land have been elucidated thanks to deep diving. It stands to prove that after 1,000 years underwater and layers of sand, the city of Thonis Heracleion at the edge of ancient Egypt was revealed to the world. It was in the early 2000s that a group of divers randomly stumbled upon a large fragment of rock in the seabed the first of six that would follow. It turned out that the pieces were part of the long-lost city because temple ruins, pottery, jewels and other treasures were soon found in the same place. From here on, an entire project to uncover the city began, using a side-scan sonar as well as a nuclear magnetic resonance magnetometer to pinpoint the presence of large objects. The Thonis Heracleion's discovery is yet another testimony of today's technological advancement and human adaptation. Giant Jellyfish in yet another incredible encounter during deep diving, two divers came across the largest jellyfish ever photographed in the UK. Dan Abbott and Lizzie Daly were documenting marine encounters for a week and were supposed to film blue sharks when they accidentally met an even more humbling creature, a giant jellyfish. These gentle giants can grow up to 35 kilograms with bills of almost one meter in diameter. Ms. Daly later said she had her face in some kelp when she looked back and noticed the jellyfish. Only by then getting closer did she realize how enormous the creature actually was. You'd think she'd be a bit scared, but it turns out the giant jellyfish are not actually considered dangerous, with only a mild sting. They are indeed gentle giants. Underwater River If we were to pick only one unbelievable sight out of all, it would be this one. Divers were always aware of the strange things they can encounter below the water's surface. Even so, no diver ever expected to find an underwater river. I know, that hardly seems plausible, but today, thanks to divers' explorations of the sinkholes of the Yucatan Peninsula, we know that underwater rivers do exist. The sinkholes were found to be full of treasures from Mayan artifacts to incredible caves. However, the most astounding phenomenon discovered in the Cenote Angelita sinkhole was the eerie underwater river hidden just 100 feet below. If you're wondering how the river formed, so did we. It appears it was created due to different densities of water. The first 29 meters are formed of fresh water, while the layer below contains hydrogen sulfide, which is heavier. When the two meet, a cloudy phenomenon resembling fog is created, giving the river a magical appearance. That's the kind of discovery that shakes up everything we know about how the ecosystem works. US fighter planes lost during World War II Throughout time, history has also benefited from underwater discoveries. 76 years after the Operation Hailstone, an assault of the Allied forces on a Japanese naval base during World War II, a team of researchers discovered former American fighter planes buried deep underwater. It's not every day that you stumble across a warplane recalling of old wars. Project Recover discovered two dive bombers and one Avenger at the Truk Lagoon in the Chonk State of Micronesia. But the battle losses included more than 50 Japanese ships and 230 aircraft, 30 of which were American. 
What's even crazier is how the project team found the airplanes. To locate them amid the coral and debris, the team used the story of an airplane gunner who remembered seeing a dive bomber fall while attacking a Japanese transport ship. It seems that it's usually difficult to spot aircraft underwater. As the expedition leader explains, when these aircraft crash into the water, they don't look like aircraft anymore. Most of them are piles of metal that don't rise very far off the bottom of the ocean. Well, I guess this time they were very lucky. Gold treasure. Sometimes diving feels like winning the lottery. That must have been the feeling for Zika Feyer and his team when they stumbled across a 2,000 gold coin treasure, the largest ever found in the region of Caesarea, Israel. Interestingly, Zvika had scuba dived in the area a lot of times before with no clue of the treasure that waited to be discovered. First, he saw a glimmer in the sand of the ocean floor, which had just been stirred up by the previous night's violent storm. He expected to find a discarded sweet wrapper, like a chocolate coin, but instead he found a real Arabic gold coin. Sweeping more and more sand aside, Zvika found another coin, and then another, and another, until he realized what he stumbled upon. Together with the Israeli Antiquities Authority, the divers recovered an entire long-lost treasure of 24-karat gold. It was later revealed that one single coin would cover a one-month salary for a military soldier, so the entire treasure could have been used to hire a 2,000-soldier army for a month. Yonaguni Jima City Ruins Maybe one of the most fascinating underwater discoveries, the submerged city ruins of Yonagumi Jima in Japan have been the subject of arduous debate. Far back in 1986, a local diver first noticed the Yonagumi formations, leading to an endless conversation about their origin. One side of the argument is that they represent structures left behind by a vanished Pacific civilization called Mu. Divers have described and photographed various things resembling a sphinx, a pyramid, castle ruins, five temples, and a large stadium, all connected by roads, water channels, and walls. And hear this, the ruins could date back to at least 5,000 years ago. On the other hand, there's the argument that all the major features and structures of the place are nature-made, just basic geology and classic display of sandstone for an area with a lot of tectonic activity. Whichever side is right, the place remains a fascinating site and continues to attract tourists and researchers from all around the world. The Order Cave Cave exploration is one of the favorite activities for many divers. It takes places like the Order Cave to hook divers in an endless appreciation of the ocean. Deep in the bedrock underneath the Ural Mountains in Russia, this is one of the longest underwater caves we've ever discovered. But not only does it offer hours and hours of exploration, the visibility here is one of the most pristine on the planet, matching the sinkholes of the Yucatan Peninsula. Don't worry though, you won't find any anacondas swimming around in these waters. It seems that the clarity is given by the gypsum rock, which filters the water. It's also incredibly cold, at only 4 degrees Celsius, making it suitable for dry suit diving only. The Lion City The Lion City came under the attention of officials in China after realizing that 50 years had passed since the city sunk and left it completely intact. The crazy story about the Lion City is that it was submerged on purpose when the Chinese government decided to build a new hydroelectric power station and they required a lake. I bet you didn't hear that before. Today, the city lies undisturbed in the Quandao Lake with its houses, paved roads, arches, and temples like it was kept in a time capsule. The site of the once opulent city is now open to local tourists who want to dive around and wander at the historical treasures. While it's a shame that such a city had to be sunk, one can at least take solace in the fact that they can now visit an underwater museum. Squidworm the deep sea is a scary place by itself, but adding mysterious creatures into the mix makes the whole experience even more frightening. If you're someone who had to sight yourself a lot before diving underwater, your newfound courage would be short-lived if you were to come across this strange creature. The squid worm is probably the definition of a creepy crawly, and can only be found at depths of up to 9,950 feet. These terrifying-looking creatures have only been discovered in recent times, 2007 to be exact, and even now scientists are not fully informed about them. The squid worm has 10 squid-like limbs which allows it to move through water similar to how an earthworm moves through dirt. It measures close to 3.5 inches and has a flat body. They also come with 25 or more pairs of translucent white paddles that allow it to move its snake-like body. Since they're found at such deep levels in the sea, special robots are used for capturing them and they're brought to the surface while being preserved in formaldehyde solution. 
The deep sea always wins the challenge of producing the most bizarre creatures known to man, and this is one of the latest entries. Ancient Silver If there's one thing that motivates a lot of divers to venture the depths of the ocean, it's long-lost treasures or artifacts. While coming across something like this is incredibly rare and often dangerous, the few lucky ones who make such a discovery will forever have their life changed. If there's a textbook example of an underwater treasure, it's probably the treasure found inside the SS Gare Sopper. During World War II, the SS Gare Sopper was used as a British cargo ship, but was sunk by a torpedo fired from a German U-boat. In this incident, only one of the 85 crew members survived, while the rest of the ship sank an astonishing 15,000 feet and stayed there for the past 70 years. The ship was known to contain 48 tons of pure silver at the time of its sinking, so the British government contracted a US-based deep-sea exploration company known as the Odyssey Marine Exploration to recover this long-lost loot. The expedition was a success, and the team was able to recover all of the 48 tons of silver. And the best part is, the exploration team got to keep 80% of the treasure, which fattened their wallets by an incredible $30 million. What a payday! Giant Anaconda Some dive in the hope of discovering archaeological treasures. Others, however, have more of an adrenaline-triggered wish to dive with sharks. The second category includes diver Bartolomeo Bove, a professional underwater videographer and shark diver. But coming face to face with the largest snake in the world was a special experience even for risk taker Bove. And hear this, on purpose too. It appears there's a specific place, the Formose River in Brazil, where people go to swim with the anacondas. Normally, anacondas prefer murky waters, but for some reason they also thrive in the crystal clear waters of this river, making it the perfect place to photograph the magnificent snake. The specimen found by Bove and his partner was particularly stunning, a 23-foot-long female of nearly 200 pounds. As it turns out, the female was actually curious and friendly, getting close to the divers and inspecting the camera before swimming away. Bove described the experience as unbelievable, adding, no words can do justice to the sensations that I was really feeling. What about you? Which of these underwater sites are you dying to explore? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.